grabbing the um, head sail string. It's crazy to finally see it in person. I've seen it all over the internet. I feel like I'm in this pirate shack. How it's tin food? It makes you feel like you're camping. Simon's not exactly happy with it. I hate it. This is slim. Three knots on the face, skipper! I'm so the skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too. Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. No! We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. We are currently underway somewhere around here, heading towards Middle Percy Island. We've just had a salty bucket shower, so we're feeling fresher than ever. A nice breeze has come through, and with no sound but the water trickling past the hull, we're feeling quite content as we weave our way through the islands. Look at you! Look at you! Nom noms? So good. I think everyone's feeling very relaxed aboard Nakama today, after post engine. It is so nice. Simon's reading some stuff for uni and I've never seen Chili so, so calm. She's fully just like peppered out. I've never seen her literally while we're sailing be so chill. It's a good day for it. Oh, and also I did burn my date loaf. Yum. Yum. Mm. Mm. And I don't want to be sitting alone in a room that just filled with my soul. And so I came to this place. I'm looking for a familiar face, and that's when I. You wouldn't ever believe it. <laughs> so, yeah. We're still not there Whoa, yet. Babe. Whoa! Was that a whale? Yeah. Look! Oh my god! Oh. It's so close! It's insane. I got that! Yeah! <laughs> All should be together while worlds do us apart. But the way I feel won't get. Whoa! What? Like a just an absolute surprise and shock. That was insane. Just like a mother and calf preaching. <laughs> Sick! <laughs> I've never seen them do that so close. Like that was. Whoa! That was sick. Oh, thanks Wales. Alright, so we're sort of coming along South Percy Island. Almost at North, oh not North, Middle Percy. Uh, we've got a nice breeze now, so we're kind of going really nicely. I think we're probably doing five knots now, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling still. That was nice. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> it's a grass and sand island. First notable feature. Probably would have been either the grass or the sand, eh? Oh, tree! Grabbing the um, head sail string, pull the string, roll the sail. <laughs> Accessible by boat, this pristine paradise remains somewhat untouched out here, as if a portal to simpler times. Percy Island Yacht Club. Originally built by an eccentric bloke called Andy Martin, well before our time, the Percy Island Yacht Club is famous between crews and sailors. Andy lived on the island for over 30 years, surviving by trading produce such as preserves, honey, eggs, and a famous goat stew with passing sailors. 
This rich history of hospitality still lingers in the memento sailors were encouraged to leave behind. Traditionally stating their boat name and home port, sailors in recent times have gotten more creative in order to stand out from the masses. The atmosphere of this place really strikes you. You can feel the warmth of past memories in a community that's far greater than we'd ever imagined. I was like, you could spend so long, all the little intricate little things in there, you could spend so long in here. So obviously, this is insane, this is just all the boats that have been here and left something, left their boat name or whatever they wanted to leave. And it's so cool, I feel like I'm in this pirate shack. It is like, it's like... Or something, like this old school treasure trove shack. It is sick. Um, it's actually really busy as well. I was not expecting this many people to be here. But this is like, it's popping off. It's a bit of a scene. <laughs> Day. We made it. We made it. Um, what a spot. How good's tin food? It makes you feel like you're camping. Sitting here, like cock leg. You know what I mean? Queensland, you got a beer, like, eating canned food from a hill. And uh, sounds like camping. Queensland, sounds like camping. Simon is actually really good at slogans. I don't know, because probably he's a good at rhyming and I don't know, his jokes are funnier than mine. Never laughs at my jokes. Anyway, I always laugh at his. Anyway, that's not the point here. Um, Simon made a slogan for Forex Gold and we would all like to hear that now. Do you remember what it was? I remember what it was. <laughs> was it like, Mangoes, taste of Queensland. I've got that forex kind of feel Creeping up on me Sitting in the shade of a big old tree Working up a thirst, just staring at the sea Feeling this is how things ought to be Looks like it's mango season, Queensland. I can feel a forex coming on. You're so weird. She likes pineapple. No more than that. What'd you say you wanted for dinner? Nachos. Look what you got. Nachos. Bloody brilliant. Is he nice to it? So good. Thank you. Good night. That looks so good. It does look good. Thank you. Woo! It's a Chipotle salsa. I'm so here. Let's eat. Right. Six letters in the karma. 36 divided by six. Six centimeters each. 36 centimeters long. 12 centimeters high. I am writing a painting of a sighting. I'm painting a sign thing for the shack and then I gotta go think of what jobs we can do for them because you meant to do something in order to hang your sign so maybe I'll go pick up some sticks or something later <laughs> Soph did bake a really nice date cake maybe we can share that with everyone and that can be a nice gesture do you reckon that would suffice as a nice gesture? yes Got to speak into the man at my door about how to change my ways. I found a reason.
not too sure how much time we'll get to spend here. We are in desperate need of internet as we've got some more assignments due within the week. We thought there would be some signal here, but to our disappointment, there isn't a scrapence of reception for our self I go to pick up and boost. Plan on making the most of our lunar time here before pressing on. Simon's not exactly happy with it. I hate it. You can tell how great art of artists we are. I just think we should black in the Nakama. Yeah. And then maybe get some little white bits on it or something. Nah, I think it'll be alright. Yeah, we'll black in the Nakama black to make in. it more clearer. And then I reckon we'll add some other, other things. How lucky we had a piece of plywood floating around in the bilges. I know. Our bilge plywood. While we wait for that to dry, we're gonna go explore the lagoon because it's high tide at the moment and maybe go for a swim. Seventy seven. Wow. Oh. What's the plan, Skipper? Apparently, you can buy honey here. And we're out of honey. So we thought we'd go to find it. Yes? Yeah, when you're done on the swing, is that right? When I'm done. Like seriously, you could spend hours and hours in here browsing. This is my favourite one. In memory of this artwork in plastic and steel that brought us many a pescatorial meal, Queen Fish and Tuna and the old Spanish Mac, you captured them all and brought them all back. Now battered, busted and chewed and cracked, we lay heard a rest in this old sailor's shack. So rest in peace to their lure. Turns out that was actually from Free Range Sailing, one of my favourite YouTube channels. So cheers for the laughs, guys. Um, it was a pleasant surprise. We found the honey. It's in here. Yes. You gotta be really quiet though. Otherwise the honey police will come. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Is that? Some change for you? Yeah, some change out of the box. Pure unheated organic bush honey. It'll be good. It'll be so good. Now that we've acquired the honey, we're gonna we're really enthused about finish offing finishing off our masterpiece. So we're gonna go do that and then come back and mount the masterpiece. The masterpiece. Prepared, we're proud of our wee masterpiece. We only had a thin bit of twine, so we opted to plait it in the hopes that the sign hangs beyond our lifetime. 
We are now nestled in between hundreds of other boat names in this wonderful handmade structure placed precariously on an island seemingly in the middle of nowhere. We've reached the pinnacle. It's the Yachty's Walk of Fame. We've set our golden star and now we're hanging up the gloves. I don't know, we might even pursue a career in handmade ceramics or organic kombucha. Thanks everyone for your support so far on the journey. And um, I don't know. Oi, no we're not. We just hope it holds on until we can pass by next time to structurally reinforce it. Oh, I guess we'll see you next week then. Well, our time at the Percy's I think has come to the end and we're gonna go back to the boat. I think we're gonna leave early in the morning tomorrow. To find reception. Making some ground though. Probably the most ground we've made in a while. Hey, we don't often cover this much groundwater.